yes, I teach uh, all of the pre-engineering courses, um, physics, uh, calculus-based physics for engineers, statics, dynamics, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, circuits. Um, and I don't teach all of these. We have a faculty of about six people. Uh, mathematics, so calculus one through differential equations, are all taught in intensive mode teaching. And, and our model is uh, two classes uh, at a time for eight weeks, where the traditional in the U.S. is four classes at a time for 16 weeks. It's uh, two hours a day. Uh, in, in the day, we have three two-hour sections, and our students do two of those. And then they have the third one off to be working on their, on their coursework. Uh, it's Monday through Friday, uh, but because of the two hours a day and the eight weeks, we actually have some extra time in there. So occasionally, a teacher will take a day and just give the students time to study that. But two hours per day, Monday through Friday for one class, two hours per day, Monday through Friday for the other class. It's particularly uh, valuable for uh, the entry-level engineering students. They're coming from high school and uh, they're being asked to really manage one crisis after another. If they've got their calculus test today, everything put, gets put on hold in their chemistry lab tomorrow, everything gets put on hold. So when they have to manage four things at a time, it becomes this crisis management. Uh, in going to intensive mode, you're able to let them have just two things to manage at a time for longer periods during the day. And it's a great uh, scaffolding in the transition from high school to uh, upper division engineering. We've been using in intensive mode teaching for 15 years um, in this two classes at a time for a half a semester have found it to fit the culture of the student learning and, and work well for its intended purposes. Oh, absolutely. Um, the most important part is to not think that if I were a lecturer uh, one hour a day and now I'm just going to have my students for two hours a day or three hours a day, I just continue to just do the lectures and lecture and lecture and lecture. Uh, it just doesn't work. You can't keep students' attention. So the most important piece of advice is uh, active learning. So a mini lecture followed by students uh, processing that information, discussing it with one another, working problems, back to another mini lecture, and so on. Uh, I, well, I think my recommendations for students would be similar whether they're in intensive mode or not, but it's to be uh, become very good at organizing their own time um, and setting goals and, and really becoming the project managers of their own learning experience.